Fenty on my lips. Fenty, Fenty on my lips. Fenty on my lips. Fenty on my lips. Hey. What is up, Giz Army? It's your girl, Liz Latrice. Back at it again with another video. Let's talk about my African American experience in Poland. Um, if you haven't already, go watch my first vlog of my time here in Poland. Um, and in that vlog, I asked, did anybody want to see or want me to do a video about my African American experience in Poland? Now, before I get into this, I just want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there that um, this is completely in my own opinion. This in no way will reflect how any other African American feels about being African American and coming to Poland. This is just my opinion, this is just what I have experienced. So take this as you will. Hopefully you guys are just, you know, here to, to fill me out, not here for the negative negativity. But I did want to do this video because this is like my really my first time as an adult out of the United States. So I have been to Germany. My mom was stationed there when uh, we were kids, and um, she was stationed there, and so we lived there for about four years. Um, so and I absolutely loved it. Like if I had to go back, <laughs> if I had to pick a time in my childhood in which um, I had to like plant myself into that time zone, it would be when I lived in Germany. I lived in Hanau, Germany. That was when the uh, Hanau base was there. But it is since closed. I really want to know what it looks like now, but we're not gonna get into that. But yeah, so this is my first time out of the country, like in Europe, so as an adult. So I thought it'd be a good idea to um, share my thoughts. I have a couple notes here, so bear with me. Okay, so off rip, the first thing, one of the first things I noticed once I first was able to like explore was that um, people stare. You know, they stare at you, but see like back home staring, or back home like how I was raised staring is kinda like, it's like you don't do it, you know? Culturally, it's like you just don't stare, like you, or you don't wanna get caught staring at least. Boy, if you don't get but uh, here it's not that's not a thing like they'll stare they won't look at you they're gonna look at you and by no means does that that offend me at all like because every poll I've come across has been like beyond accepting beyond amazing like they're nice so but um they're absolutely amazing. I absolutely just, uh, love every interaction that I've had with the poll stuff. So. Um, and if I'm saying that wrong, poll, polls, somebody comment below. Let me know what, what I'm supposed to call them or call native uh, people native to poll. Uh, and I'm also out here like in, with my natural hair, you know, big and don't care. Big and don't care. And I haven't seen anybody else like out here, you know, with this voluptuous forehead of afro. So maybe that's it too. Maybe like they're just intrigued by what they are seeing. But um, I tried to learn, you know, Polish. And I still have so much trouble. Like, I still have so much trouble saying stuff. Like, I've been trying to say, th I learned how to say thank you. That's the first word I learned how to say in every language because I do not want to seem inconsiderate because I'm definitely not. So, uh, did I say it right? <laughs> did I say that right? <laughs> it took me so long, y'all. I've been here two months and I still like struggle with saying that. So, and dobre, which I think means good. So, if you guys have any other like cool words that you can teach me how to say, leave them below and tell me what they mean so I can better communicate with 
people out here, you know? Okay, but that's one thing is that people stare, not a big deal. Second thing is that I realized that Americans are spoiled, like beyond spoiled. So like I went to um, this restaurant, I mean restaurants, majority of restaurants have American menus or they have someone who kind of, not is not so fluent in Spanish, or excuse me, not so fluent in English, but knows a little bit and is able to like assist with us ordering food or whatever. Um, and then like even, even getting money off the ATM, the ATMs translate into English, like little digital stuff translates into English. And I just, it got me to thinking like, you don't see, you, you know, like you don't see that back in the U.S. Like you don't see, like them having like Polish menus or they might have. They, they're likely to have Spanish menu, but not like any other foreign country having their menu there. But they always have English, like always. So I think that I am very spoiled here. Like I haven't had the burden of trying to figure this out on my own without any assistance. So. I think that's, uh, that's definitely something that I have noticed. The other thing is that they really are intrigued by my hair. Like I mentioned that earlier, but they love my hair. Like everyone is, if they can, if they are able to speak English, they're like, oh my God, like I love your hair or your hair is so cool or whatever. And I think that's amazing. Like, I think that's really cool that, that uh, my natural hair is, are able to flow, you know? But beyond that, like, the fourth thing is that this country, these cities are absolutely beautiful. Like, I don't think I've seen anything so pretty before in my life. Like, Torrin, whew, Torrin is so pretty. And each, each city that I've been to has an old town, which is like, I, I assume is like their, uh, equivalent to like um, our historical towns back home in the US, like where you go like downtown to any place, uh, any city that you go to in the US is the equivalent to their old town in whatever city you go to. And it's called like either old town or called Centrum or whatever. That's where like everything is, everything is like located, like where all the pubs are, where you can get souvenirs, like all that cool stuff and it is absolutely beautiful. Like, I don't care. Like, nothing to do with my African American experience at all, but like, that is amazing. Oh, so I also noticed, like, when I post Instagram posts or whatever on my story and I like tag places or locations and everything, they'll like use my video on their like big story. So, y'all. I'm going global. This shit's big. Like your girl about to blow up. <laughs> yeah, but as just like a side disclaimer. Honestly, I don't think that there's like, there's nothing that I feel I'm um, too much uncomfortable about like being here and being an African American here. I think the more they see you, the more they get used to you, you just like a regular person. But their demographic here is predominant predominantly people of lighter skin tone. So I think it's just, not really a culture shock, but I just think it's like something that they haven't seen in a while, or maybe they haven't seen up close and personal. So it is what it is. Oh, oh, last thing. Money here, like US, USD, like conversion to Polish money, y'all. Like things are so much cheaper here. Like I wanna buy everything because it's so much cheaper. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so again, 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 I just want to explain one last time that this is just my opinion, Leslie Latrice's opinion about my African American experience, more like my experience here in Poland. So with that being said, if you guys want to see more of my experience in Poland, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And let's try to get this video to like, we'll say like 40 likes. Try to get this video to 40 likes. 
I'm gonna continue to vlog. Right now, currently, I'm in Warsaw, Poland. Like, ah! or actually it's Warsaw, Warsaw, Poland. I learned how to say that today too, so yay! Um, but yes, if you wanna see more, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right there, right there, right there. You can also hit that uh, watermark there too if you don't see that subscribe button down there. Make sure you hit it, comment below. Tell me, guys, have any of you ever been out the country? Have any of you, what are your experiences being outside of your your normal native country let me know put it in the comments because i want to hear about your experiences you know what i'm saying everybody's experience is a little different and this is why i do youtube so i can get to know you guys too so with that being said i will see you guys on my next upload it's your girl leslie treats peace